Hey there, Adam here. Today I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to talk about a uh, SEO writing tool I've been playing with for about the last week. I've got, looks like I've done 89 different articles with it. Each article costs, let's just click on a random one. So this one costs two cents to generate. So this is cheap SEO content that's pretty solid. Uh, it's using GPT 3.5 because I don't have for uh, API access yet. So it's API access versus chat GPT access. I, but it's once I have 4.0, I'll be able to use 4.0 for it, which will increase the cost a bit, but have significantly better writing. But uh, it's a SEO desktop tool that, for the looks of it, it's doing a bunch of prompt generation in the background. Uh, it has one-click SEO bulk. Uh, some local SEO stuff, a lot of different settings. But let me just show you an example of one to see, so you can see how it works. Because uh, I've been pretty happy with it. I'm trying to build up my uh, efficientstuff.com website. I haven't really done anything with it yet. I'm just slowly adding stuff to it to see how it goes. Uh, but let's just create a uh, SEO tool. Let's just create a, a, a blog post. Let's just say uh, Beginner's Guide to Obsidian. Most of my videos are about Obsidian. Uh, five H2 subheading sounds fine. And then let's generate the H2 using only AI. It takes a few seconds. I will pause the video while it generates. Okay, so it is finished creating the H2 subheadings. Took about 30 seconds. Uh, you can see them right here. I told it to create five of the basics. So you can make sure that it makes sense. Uh, connecting your notes, advanced features, other apps, maximizing productivity. Yeah, okay, that sounds fine. I uh, and then here's where it starts to get quite good. I uh, you can start to build in specific options for specific articles. So for this one, I it has a voice option, so you can sit, talk about you, yours, or talk, use it like first person. Uh, a lot of different options here. I tend to lean just towards professional. I uh, you can also just generate the same article multiple times, multiple voices, see which one you like the best. Uh, since it's only a couple pennies an article, it makes it very easy for trial and error. Uh, but let's just use professional for this one. Literary devices are like metaphor similes. It's a little silly. You can try it, see if you like it. Not a huge fan for me. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, so we're, we're just going to do professional with no literary devices. And then you can ask it to generate lists and tables and FAQs if it makes sense for that type of article. I uh, I think lists would probably make sense in a beginner's guide. I don't really see what it, why you need any tables like a markdown table, so we're gonna skip that. And then frequently asked questions would make sense for beginner's guide. Uh, you can tell it to make a mid journey being AI photos for each subheading. I don't care about these. I'm not doing. I'm not using their photos. And then audience personality. There's 13 different types. You can look it up. It's called brand arch or 12, 12 different archetypes. So try that if you want to. Not a huge fan. I just use the auto styling. And then I like to do, this doubles the cost. Uh, you can do the best of two for the subheadings and frequently asked questions. Let's just skip it for now. And then it's going to automatically generate the, in, the lower keywords. And then finally, you're going to scrape the top results to see what content's being used to compare it against. Uh, and then create yours using these subheadings. So I'm going to scrape the URLs, start the writer, and you're gonna see it's gonna disappear and it's gonna be down here. And this takes, this is the part that's a little slow. It can take about five to 10 minutes per article. So I'm going to pause it. Once it finishes, you're gonna get a pop-up in the middle, middle of your screen. So I'm going to pause the recording and once it's done, I'll show you what the output was. All right, so if the content's done, done generating. Uh, I guess you can look at the clock to see how long it took. It just finished a second ago. And you're going to see that this generated about a 2,000 word article, cost two cents. So, what you can do is you get, this is the descriptions about what it did, what settings it used. Uh, it also is going to save this same exact thing. So, I can actually just close this. And it's just going to save it as a text document inside of your uh, Zim, Zim Writer folder. So this is the same thing. So all you have to do to start is grab the entire content, copy, and then let me, you can see it's already got markdown formatting, and then copy and paste, and there's the article.
I, I would recommend going through and reading the whole thing and editing. You know, my suggestion. <laughs> you get some pretty weird stuff. But I'm just going to add, add a couple pictures to this. I'm going to upload it. And then you can read it for yourself and decide how good you think the content is. Let's not spend a while reading through it. You can uh, have your own opinion about it. So I'll post that and have the link in the comment. Let me show you some of the other things it can do, just so you have an idea. There's the one-click thing. Uh, if it's super simple, just type in the name of the article, hit go. I'm not a huge fan. If I'm going to go to the effort of doing uh, an, an article, I'll e either use the blog writer one, which you, know, you can really go in and fine-tune settings and get and scrape and have a, a better article, or what I've been using is the uh, bulk blog writer, where you can post in a list of different titles, uh, different blog articles, and then you can enable the same settings for each one of them. Uh, and you're going to see here what I was talking about, the GPT model. So I'm using 3.5 Turbo, which is like half the price of DaVinci, but almost as good. And then I do not have API access to GPT-4. Uh, you will need to get API access to 3.5 to use this. So make sure that you, it, you're going to have, there's going to be a place on here. I don't want to show you my, my API key. Uh, but there's going to be a place on here where you have to input your API key to 3.5 to get access. I, but that side note said you, you, that side note aside, here's your options. You just put, you know, article one space or enter article two. And then it's going to ask you when you hit start, it's going to say found two blog articles, one and two. Do you want to create them? I don't want to create those. I, and then it'll just start and they'll go one after another. And each one will be about two cents, two to three cents. Uh, you can make them a little bit longer. If you have more H2s, the articles will be longer. Uh, five is a pretty good sweet spot. That's the default. They're going to run usually between uh, 1,500 words to like 2,200 words is what I've noticed. If you make them too long, it, you're going to get a lot of really weird H2s uh, that really have nothing to do with what your, your article's about. Uh, so I would not do that for the bulk blog writer. For the SDO one, you can generate more, and then you can go through and change them. So this is really, really nice if you have a specific article in mind, and you just want to get a good starting point, and you already know what your H2s are going to be. You can absolutely put out, put the name, add some background to make sure it's really on point. Uh, do your H2s, like your own uh, unique H2s. It will use these. Uh, it's just doing all these different prompts in the background, which is super cool because you can, I mean, you can, if you really wanted to, you could do this for free inside of uh, ChatGPT if you had all the right prompts. You absolutely could. But I am going to save 20 minutes an article for, for two cents. I mean, it's absolutely a no-brainer. Uh, the, the program itself has two different purchase options. You can either pay, I think it's either 5 or $10 a month, or you can literally just buy it for $200 and never pay again. Uh, your choice. I'm doing the monthly subscription right now just to see if I like it. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it, though. I mean, I, I think, like I said, I think I've done like 90 articles. It's cost like $3, I think, something like that. Uh, so that that's just the, that's my introductory guide to Zim Rider. Pretty happy with it. Like I said, it's not as good as ChatGPT4. Uh, it's just not. The, the content's not as good. Because I don't have access to the four, you know, the to four GPT four API. Once I do, I'll just switch all of them over to that. I mean, still, it. I mean, I think it'll, it'll be like fifteen cents an article or ten cents an article or something like that. So significantly more expensive, but much better content. This is good enough, though. This is good enough for most stuff, especially very very low low volume keywords. Where if you write it and publish it, and you're the only one on the topic, you're going to get ranked. I mean, that's essentially what this is for, and for good first drafts. I uh, and just to get you started so you know play with it it's cheap i uh, just screw around with it and see what works best for you i mean i think that's sort of the fun of it is you got a lot of different settings you can tweak you can try all the different voices you can try all the the writing styles the style of a certain person audience personalities i uh, change the voices to first person third person you i we however you want to do it i uh, and see what works for you and see what works best for your content and you know, this gives enough variations that it doesn't feel as uh, robotic as the default GPT output tends to be. Uh, and it also gets the correct length without too much fussing. So I hope this was useful. Let me know what questions you have. I may do more videos on this at some point. You know, the channel is called Efficient Stuff. It's just stuff that's efficient.
I I'm not really constraining myself to any one particular thing. So this has been fun to play with, and obviously I'm building up building out a website with it. And I'll let you sort of know how it goes. I mean, it's you can look at it yourself, efficientstuff.com. Uh, I'd say 90% of the stuff on there is written, written by AI at this point. A little bit was written by me. All right, thanks very much. Bye.